Hi, this is Dell3524 here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Dell Latitude E5530. Starting off on the side, you got your headphone port, USB 2.0, DVD-ROM and DVD rewritable drive, VGA on the back. You have a Ethernet port, 10 by 100 by 1000, another USB 2.0 charging port, and then on the other side you have an HDMI port, an eSATA port, and another USB 3.0. SD card reader and EC card reader. And then up front you have your Wi-Fi switch and then you also have two sets of notification lights. The first one is down here next to the switch and then the other one is next to the keyboard like they are in the Latitudes, the 6 series. It has your standard Dell keyboard with the backlit option and then this is a 15 inch laptop so it also has a full numpad over here something the 6 series don't have. Power buttons over here and then your volume control buttons are over here. This computer does also have a webcam. This laptop currently has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 installed. The memory speed is 1600 megahertz which is the highest you can put into the laptop. The amount you can put in the laptop is 8 gigabytes per DIMM slot, so you get a total of 16. This laptop has a Intel Core i5-3230M CPU at 2.6 gigahertz. It does have the Intel Turbo, which will go up to 3.20 gigahertz. Uh, some other options that were available for the Latitude 5530 were an i3 and an i7. And there was also an Intel Celeron processor available for it. It currently has a 60 gigabyte Avant uh, SSD installed on it. It also has the Intel HD graphics, I believe the 4000 series. And this has a 15.6 HD screen which there was also a 1920 by 1080 anti-glare LED. This is the 1366 by 768. So there was a little bit better option available out there. Now the version of this i5 is a non-V Pro. I believe it is available since there was an update for the BIOS for it. So you can get one with the V Pro. Also forgot to mention this has a brand new 9 cell lithium ion battery it's a 97 watt hour with the express charge you also had a 4 cell 40 watt hour lithium ion battery a 6 cell 60 watt hour another 9 cell which was an 87 86 watt hour and then you also had another 97 watt hour 9 cell extended battery so far I have had really no problems with this laptop at all uh, the only time I've seen an issue was where I'm watching videos on YouTube and the fan seems to kick up for the CPU. Um, other than that, I haven't seen anything else wrong with it. Um, I'm going to replace the Wi-Fi card in it with a Intel AC compatible card because this one only goes up to N. I believe it was the standard one that came with it. It was like and in the ABG or something like that. But this has been the review of the Dell Latitude E5530. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below.